Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all appropriate supervised ages outside the dilapidated, yes, that dilapidated Council Grayskull, in front of the hastily assembled Snake Mountain, which it probably was. I don't know. I never actually put it together. I bought it used, and the microphone still works. Yay me. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah sorry. Uh, we got sidetracked. Yes. Yes. Uh, Snake Mountain. Blah, blah, blah. Hobo Jungle. Yay. Read them down. Review. Yay. We only slightly botched the intro, which is fine. So, hey, I got a bunch of weird random stuff, right? But I got a bunch of G.I. Joes coming in next. So I wanted to go ahead and take care of this first, and then we'll go from there. So uh, I want to address this right off the bat. Um, this I am Raphael, of course, is my favorite turtle. Uh, I'm going to show some leg. So, uh, you know, there we go. Got that for my first Father's Day gift. Um, <clears throat> anyway, Raph's my favorite. Uh, so I thought I'd go ahead and get the new movie, Raph. I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch the movie. Uh, that kind of animation style really makes me motion sick. It's the only thing in the world, really, that makes me motion sick. There's Raph's uh, little profile there. Um, saw, saw most of these figures in person. Of course, I only got Raph for now. Uh, I may get others, I don't know. Definitely not going to get that Splinter. Um, they did him wrong. He looks like a freaking accountant. Or the dad from Revenge of the Nerds. Anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and free Raf here. Okay. Oh, they use green twine. How very nice of them. Very, very nice. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to cut this stuff out. Give me a second. Oh, it's baby Raphael. Oh, it's adorable if it would focus. There we go. And there we are. Here's baby Raf. Hello, baby Raf. Oh, look at that stuck in my finger now. In my fingers, goodness. High definition, more like uh, gross. So, he's got a hole. Hole in his belly. Uh, we had two turtles. <coughs> Liam did. Uh, we found them when they were real little. They were red ears. Uh, gliders. We took care of them for a while, and we let them free, because they got too big for the tank. And yes, I know you're not supposed to free them. I didn't know that when I did it, and I apologize. But uh, where the turtles live, uh, I have seen them, and the other turtles that live there are doing fine. So it doesn't look like anything too bad happened. So, hey. Okay, so here's the accessory rack. Um, so it looks like he's got a mutagen bomb or something he can throw. He's got those... Uh, Things that Cabal had from uh, the Mortal Kombat game. Hook swords or whatever. Um, some ninja stars. He's got a throwing knife there. And then he has silver pizza. Right on. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so let's see how he looks with his size in his pockets. All right. Okay, and we will look at the articulation and all that too. We're going to go say bye-bye, turtle. Bye-bye, turtle. Okay, so... We do have knee. Here we got that. And yeah, I'm paying more attention to articulation in this uh, for this figure because you know we haven't even seen how they're doing these turtle playmates switched over to these turtles yet. So um, I really like the design. I like it way better than that whatever that last Ninja Turtle thing was. Good grief, it looked awful. But uh, you know, getting tired of them giving Donnie glasses though. I think that's dumb as hell. Because, you know, the mutagen is supposed to make him super, also, you know, super strong and turn him humanoid. Well, you know, his eyes would be all right, too, I would assume. But whatever. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. I'm, I had some hot hot sauce on my, ooh, those big peg holes. Anyway, so there's your raft. Uh, there's the detail. Got a scar. I love it. Great figure. Good price, too. $9.99. I like that. All right. So, uh, anyway, I was probably in the middle of saying something, but I got distracted. Uh, by the hot sauce sneezes. Anyway, so uh, I got the classic, uh, or the retro indie here uh, from Temple of Doom. Man, that wasn't that. That's why those '80s kids were hard as hell, man. Because we saw shit like that, like the friggin' Mola Ram, dude. I thought that dude was the fucking devil, man. As a kid, I was freaking scared. And then I got the re-release of uh, Marion here because. I don't really want to buy a used one, and plus these peg holes on these will fit. Uh, those Star Wars, um, if you, if you buy the Star Wars guys, oh shit, yeah, there they are, if you buy these, right, these stands, they will work on these as well, so that's, I mean, that's awesome, that's gonna, I'm gonna collect them because of that, so, anyway, go ahead and free Marion, pulling muscles from the shell, oh, yeah, I hope you get that reference, 
I really do. So she's got the uh, bad dates monkey here. That was sad. Bad dates. Oh, so sad. Bad dates. Okay. Well, bad dates for you, buddy. Okay. She has a lovely white dress. Um, I know that a lot of people, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm just curious about the articulation. I'm really not trying to do it. Normally I would be, but not at this moment. Um, Ooh, she got tattoo. Look at that. She <laughs> seductive. But yeah, I know that a lot of people, when you go to buy the, uh, the old one, they'll see there's Repro or it'll be a, uh, or Repro, excuse me, or it'll be the original and they're always so gross looking. And I know, yeah, that's time and age and all that, but I just never really wanted to, wanted to buy a used one. So <laughs> that's a, there you go there. Now, of course, this is the redo for, uh, Simple do. I hope we get a Club Obi Wan Indy. You know that because I got pimp, big pimp and Indy up there. There's zero reason not to. I really want a Marcus though. What? Well, I've got to have a Marcus, and I've got to have Indy Senior or Indy Senior. Yeah, I'm a fucking Henry Jones Senior. So yeah, there he is. He does have a thing for the gun. Did he not come with a gun? Well, son of a gun, no gun. How about that? Anyway, or if it did, it fell out, but whatever. It wouldn't surprise me. You guys know that I do this thing uh, while under the influence of certain chemicals and uh, that are legal. But uh, chemicals nonetheless. And sometimes I do stupid stuff. And it's also probably because I'm a friggin' moron. Okay, there we go. Oh, shit. Through our... Uh, through that some bitch. Okay. Anyway, wasn't that an awesome scene in friggin' temple when he just is like hold on it was awesome so all righty so that's those two uh those are great i got mine at target for like 11.99 uh if you were watching this this might still be on sale uh speaking of things well no 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 we're gonna skip that one we're gonna skip or that's actually getting saved in the end we're gonna uh one of my twitter followers told me i should just go ahead and get this one so i did so there she is. And let's free this figure. Okay, so this is just pretty much a redeco, repaint of uh, the other uh, sister that I have. Um, there's her toe articulation. Sorry. <laughs> Shout out to that guy that left that comment. I really wanted toe articulation on uh, those uh, three-pack Spider-Man. So I, I get it, man. I, I get it. I just don't like the toe articulation. But yeah, I would see why you would want it for toy photography with Spider-Man especially. Or just posability for the shelf. But you know me. I'm playing with these toys in my own way. So there is her bolt gun. Did you guys play bolt gun? Get it if you haven't. If you liked Doom, holy Jesus, that game is awesome. So anyway, there she is. She, of course, came with her Warhammer stand. And she'll get put on my Warhammer shelf later. So yeah, um, I got her for the normal price. It's worth it. I wouldn't go paying crazy for it so get it before it gets like limited because you know this warhammer some of that stuff is already crazy like the first one that they put out that was an ultramarine sergeant it's like twice as much now um speaking of twice as much this one was going for a lot of money and now it showed up at walmart finally uh i have the johnny knoxville from the line and that was a pretty good <laughs> pretty cool figure uh, actually i've got it on my nightstand so uh johnny is there to help me uh maintain erections i don't need no blue chew fellas i got johnny looking me in the eyes uh, right next to du uh, my dusty Rhodes figure so dusty also uh helps me in the bedroom i mean you know what i'm thinking kia you know you just gotta give it a throw if you know what i'm thinking if you wheel if you wheel okay so there's cody from behind um i'm just gonna leave his grabbing hands on but as you can see he's got titty grabbing hands uh which will only grab brandies because he's a good boy because he is our uh, baby face and he has fists so there you go um i almost didn't buy this at walmart because the likeness to me wasn't super great from what i could tell but now that i've got it open and i'm also intoxicated it looks a lot better so <laughs> uh, you know i really like cody it just Man, he just, uh, AEW is not the place for him, huh? Okay, so there is that. He is a ultimate, not an ultimate, he is a elite. He's got the weird ankle thing going on. Does that, can do this. Um, 
Yeah, on <laughs> so there's his likeness. There we go. So I, <clears throat> excuse me, goodness, I'm going through puberty here. Um, that was so yeah, so hot. I got wet my virginity back. Holy shit. Um, anyway, there is his weight belt that he will give to any child at the front row, which is why I need to uh, uh, take my foster children with me if I go anywhere. No, I would not do that. Uh, actually, speaking of my foster children, they have uh, everything worked out and they they got to go home. So, uh, parents got everything sorted out, and we kind of bullied the state into it, so that was pretty cool. But yeah, uh, things are good. Things are good. So this is, uh, might be a more frequent thing doing videos. It might not be. I don't know. Just see where the future is. Anyway, great Cody. Uh, don't, yeah, just go get him at Walmart. Don't pay like 48 bucks for him. But, uh, speaking of deals here, and this deal, you know what this deal is? Because it was $10.95 on the target app as of like yesterday so hopefully it's still that way okay here we go boom ten dollars and i am forklift sort of certified i just want everyone to know that i used to drive that some bitch at lowe's and i could freaking hammer it man i was a really good fork truck driver um anyway so as you can see it comes with the top knot uh brock lesnar there the um he is not a man bun though we do not call that a man bun because we don't want to die so uh there that is give me just a second here that's a lot to unbox so we'll go ahead and get her unboxed okay so let's look at the fork truck um you have this side these of course you got two here's how it looks right and i left that one on because i'm not going to take this off i'll show you some stuff to it though um so of course it fits in over here there's what your cockpit looks like <laughs> cockpit lois I see a cat pit. Okay, anyway. So, does that. Um, you do that. You come with uh, the pallet. So, let's see if I can do this. All right, ready? Oh, let's let's get a good shot. Okay. Okay. I told you I was fork truck surfing. Okay, so I need to buck forward. To, you need to lower your forks here, or, you know, the angle of the forks to get that. So, I'm having to simulate it by doing that. But, yeah, I didn't get a good bite. So, I have to doop, boop, boop. And then, there we go. Oh, I did it. I did it. I told you. I was fork truck certified, son. You still can do it. Still can do it. Hadn't touched one in about 12 years. Still do it. Freaking awesome. So, here is your Brock Lesnar. Very lovely man. So that's, uh, yeah, okay, that's glued in good. I was worried. You know how some of these ponytails and stuff are, right? And they just kind of suck at the universe. So anyway, um, that is the video for now. I will give you a preview since you stuck around for just a weird video, right? Uh, next one, we're for sure going to have a Torpedo here. And we got Cobra Copperhead. Uh, but I'm waiting. Uh, it looks like it's going to be, they're going to arrive all at once. It's going to be Shipwreck. Um, uh, normal costume bazooka and uh, shit. Who was the other one? Some bitch. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, yeah, 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 whatever. So yeah, so that's that. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to show you that. See that? I forgot to put it back. But you can take this top off too. Oh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, it's gonna be exciting when I throw that some bitch against Castle Grayskull in it. Do you guys want me to just do that one first? I mean, I know it's gonna take up the most space. And that has the best chance. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to let Brock stay out of this one. This is just for the, the all the fork truck certified fuckers out there like myself. I love you. Oh, I fucked up. Look, see, that's not a good, well, it's not a good palette because you don't have the, you know, you don't have your center and your, your bottom to it. So it's, it's def I mean, it comes apart. I mean, shit, but I'm just saying that's not a good palette. Anyway. Okay. Ready? One, two three I missed oh no okay there we go well I like I said it's been a while since I drove fork truck okay Brock nope Cody nope sister no no Ugh, her child was mutt that was an awful character no Indy okay uh what else did I miss any oh yes I did hi Raph and no okay well thanks for watching everybody appreciate you uh, and you're taking your time out to listen to me talk nonsensically about action figures and play with them on camera as an excuse to uh, continue my horrible, horrible addiction. Anyway, be good to yourselves, and remember, free the figs.